Hello everyone. So today I wanted to do a let's play of City Skylines and basically I'm just going to show you a lot of things you can do that you can do with City Skylines 1 that you can do in City Skylines 2 and we're just going to go ahead and look at like some of the graphics and like the things like the comments from the people and just admire some of the features in the game that aren't in City Skylines 1 that are quite new in the series that I think will be quite interesting so I'm just gonna get started so as you can see what I just did was I went to if you can see my cursor right there if you go to your row tools you can click on the grid and you can make a grid as simple as that so I am going to connect this to the street coming into the city and I'm gonna make this a roundabout so the traffic will flow a lot more smoother and you know what I'm gonna do between this area I am going to just leave this up to some green space. I'm just going to give that some green space. I'm actually going to make this road go a little bit different from the angle this road is at. That's not, that's kind of bothering me a little bit. Let me, let me delete that. So I'm, I'm going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. Therefore, we can add some buildings in between here. You know what? And I'm just going to make this a block too. Put some houses here in the future. So this game is so easy to add utilities. But first I'm going to start zoning. So I am going to add low residential American beachfront houses. And I'm going to zone a lot of space because the simulation speed in this game, when you turn it up to the maximum, it goes so much faster than Seas Guns 1. Now, as you can see, they want power. Um, yeah they want power so you can actually um you can actually borrow power from the available power line that's already there um if you were playing without unlimited money and without all the cheats you would have to pay for this and that could be expensive if you don't have your own power plant so it's really best to have your own power plants and as you can see, they also want water. Cool thing about this game is we have groundwater. So I can just add a pumping station and we can just get our water from the ground. And then we have sewage treatment plant. And I can just place one of those. And since that's sewage, I'm gonna put my industrial over here. And as you can see those little arrows, they're a little hard to see, but that's the direction the wind is blowing in. So you just wanna make sure that the factories are placed in a location that when the wind blows won't affect where your residents live because you know that could cause health problems unhappiness just like in real life you don't want to smell that nasty stuff so uh let's go to commercial i'm gonna put some commercial down i'm gonna put some on this street here this seems like this is going to be a popular street so i gave them that and i'm also going to give them some office because i see some purple right there oh that's that's coming in pretty fast so I think they also want medium density. I'm going to give them medium density. I can handle that. But that's it. That's the only block that's going to be medium density. Now, if you look, they also want high density. If you do high density, we're going to get like a big, tall, super skyscraper in the middle of this little town. And that's not going to look right at all. And that's still some of the things I was talking about in my last video. Um, like, it's just not very realistic. Or at least, no, it's really realis it's realistic. But... The game kind of makes you build your city in a way that you probably don't want to design it. So, for example, I have demand for high density housing. But if I put that down, I'm going to have a big skyscraper in this little town and it just won't look right. Um, vice versa, you know, sometimes you just don't have the demand you want for the theme you want your city to be in. Like if I'm building New York and I'm having an issue with everybody wanting a suburban house, you know, that can kind of limit you and the things you want to do if you're building like a city that's super dense. So if you're building a big suburb and you only have density for high density housing, that can kind of limit you. But right now, our densities are pretty nice. I, I like what we're working with right now. So as you can see, the simulation speed in this game is very high. It goes, like the game goes super fast. Um, if you look here, you see somebody had a crime scene at their house. Look at this crime scene. I wonder who lives here. Can we see who lives here? Hmm. I forgot how to operate this. So, who lives here? An adult. 
They're educated, so they just moved in. They're very, very poor. Hmm. They're an employee, but where do they work? Oh, they work at the waste treatment plant. That's a nice house, though. Look at the dog over. Look at the dog in front. So let me give our city some police, so some law enforcement, so we can get that crime rate down. And you can see here, these are some of the government buildings. Like we have a warehouse office, um, a city hall, and a central bank. All those things play a role in different functions in the city. Let me give my city some fire service and. Did I already give them police? Yeah, I give them police. Let me give them hospitals. Uh, a clinic, actually. A clinic. Hospital is actually a lot bigger. Hospital is like really big like that. And one thing about this game is it takes death very seriously. So you have to have some type of crematorium. Sim wait. Crematorium or cemetery. And they saw the cemetery. And like I was saying earlier, you can actually upgrade your building. So... You can like, you know, let's say you want to upgrade your cemetery. You can add this thing here. You can add this to the side. Just make it look more beautiful. Mm. I feel like this will look good in the middle. No, yeah, no. A random cemetery in our town. Okay, so as you can see, our city has grown significantly like within six minutes. Um, it's very beautiful, you know, you know, you run into the same house every now and then, but it's actually very nice. I wish, oh my gosh, I like making things in 3D, like, you know, in AutoCAD and whatnot. I wish, like, there was just a big hiring team who, like, designed hundreds of houses. That would solve the problem, because I think it's probably only, like, mm, 15 to 20 houses within this theme and you can kind of see them repeating a little bit, but it looks pretty nice I'm satisfied with it. I'm satisfied with it, but it does get kind of repetitive especially when your city gets bigger So I didn't think I was gonna need this so soon, but I'm actually gonna make another block of residential And I don't have to worry about electricity or oops I'm zoning the wrong one, but I'm gonna just let y'all see what that looks like I don't have to worry about electricity or plumbing because that runs under the streets. And speaking of that, let's add our own, let's add our own solar plant, just so y'all can see what that looks like. And your solar plant is gonna need a road to connect to it. So I'm just gonna put a road here where the road symbols are. Oops, what did I do wrong? So put a road there and then connect it to the street. And now it's connected to your electrical and sewage. And then I don't have to buy power from the city anymore. I can sell power to the local counties and cities. And if, for example, a problem people have in the game later on, let's say you have all the electricity you need, right? But let's say in the future, your city is really big and like some random people over here need electricity, but you have more than enough electricity. Just come here, get a transformer station, and place it to that area that needs electricity and hook it up to your um, your source of electricity. Because what happens is this plant can only cover so much in the area um, until you need to add more transformer stations to get that power to go a little farther, just like in real life. Um, there are substations that kind of regulate and control the power from between your house and the um, source it's coming from. But I really do like this. This is really nice. You can see the people going. Oh, and this is our medium density. I actually like this. Look at this. This is very similar to something like in New York or Philadelphia. See the people walking. The cars are nice. Oh, and we also have parking lots. I forgot to show that. So let's look at our parking lots. This is like a big parking lot for like your downtown district or whatnot. Underground parking, regular parking lot. Let's add a little parking lot just in case people need something to park. Preferably here, because I see a lot of cars are here. Maybe, perhaps they need some parking. That won't hurt too bad. Not too bad, it won't hurt too bad. Just so everybody has a fair chance to park their car. Oh, and then I want to add a elementary school. 
and I have different options. I have, you know, a small elementary school, a urban elementary school, small high school, and so on. I have trade schools, I have colleges, universities, medical university. Then I can upgrade this school with some wings, as you can see, to increase capacity. Then I can add a playground too. But it has to be within a close distance to the elementary school. And then this is a children's clinic. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We don't need everything. So, hmm. Let's see. Wow. See, look. My residential demand is already up again. And it's growing so fast because I keep giving them low residential. And it wants high residential. And regular residential. And because of that, it's like working twice as fast to build up those low residential properties. Let me show you what the standard American um, residential properties look like. Cause so far I've been like spawning in beachfront cause these are the beachfront properties. But let me show you what the standard one looks like. As you can see, it's kind of like a darker theme and a lot of them look like trailers. So that's a common thing with that. But yeah, like this is just a quick little video of city skylines basically, you know, let me show you the communications like mm, we got the small tower and the big tower give them that got a post office you can place your mailboxes so your citizens don't have to walk I'll go far got little parks you can place big and small you just don't have that many unique building options like aquariums casinos but it's still a game that's been out for less than a year so hopefully they'll add that one thing i am disappointed about is though um the requirements for the game is very high so sometimes it does crash this and if you have a regular system or a common system it probably would have a hard time running it so that's kind of unfortunate but yeah this is just a quick video of city skylines and some of the things you can do and one more thing before i go um if you click here you, you can see signature buildings and these are just some buildings you can add into your neighborhood like these are residential right so like these are just some buildings to give your neighborhood more character to make it feel like its own place so if you click here we just added a mansion this is actually pretty um this is a rock musician mansion so if we look more you know we got um, a film actor mansion. You could probably place these next to each other, but there's definitely not enough of them to make a whole neighborhood of luxurious houses. Just probably like 10 of them, I believe. Like, look at this one. I think there's also a real estate one too. Like, this is nice. Like I said, this would be super cool when the game just adds more things. Like, you know, the ability to place fences and like just some more detail props and you can make even more detailed assets and like areas of your city but yeah i just wanted to show you um some of the things you can do and see skylines you know these are districts tools i don't really use these too much because I, I haven't really seen too much of a a need for them but yeah you know you can add your districts so you can name this district wherever you want you can add policies to your district like um engine ban combustion engine ban gated community heavy traffic ban recycling roadside parking fee i never used that one before and then speed bumps i never used those two before but um no speed bumps actually appear but it just makes the cars go slower because wrecks do happen in this game but they don't happen often and then as far as parking fee i never heard of that one before so apparently i can get money for people parking on the road so all y'all are getting taxed now so that's unfortunate but i had to show y'all so now the people are suffering and if you look here actually um you can see that you have comments sometimes i notice on my other city with 160,000 people that they tend to get a little repetitive like i see this one all the time it doesn't feel safe going out at night I just like I see that all the time. Um, the housing market stinks. I see that all the time. Well, actually, no, you don't see that if you give them what you if you give them what they want. But like, for example, this is what they want, guys. They want this. They want this, y'all. That's what they want. 
I just zoned it in. I don't know if you can see that because I just placed it, but I'm just showing you what they want. They want low income, high rise housing. But of course that wouldn't look too right in our city. And so, hmm, let's look at what else they're talking about. They say it's noisy. I hear this one all the time. Sometimes you get updates from local companies and electricity department. Um, you see this one a lot. Yeah, a lot of people just be saying the same things over and over again sometimes. Um, but yeah, you can also follow your citizens too. And for example, like let's click on this house. Or actually, let's click on a person. Mm, let me pause the game and click on a person. So let's click on him. And I can follow him. He's happy. He's an adult. Um, he's employed. He's an employee. He works at Soft Ends, which is I don't know where that's at. Oh, and it's an industrial company. Now, if I go here, I believe I can find him again. So I don't know what all this is supposed to be. It's not loading, but yeah, he's happy. He's going to work. He lives here. Let's see what that is. Yo trailer not ill trailer but just i was i wanted to see something nicer like i'm tired of seeing these they're everywhere like <laughs> i'm sorry i that because i feel like that sounded a little bad at first but i wanted to see something with some more character you know um let's see who lives here wait what oh yeah a dog lives here and a person so they don't have any wealth. Their household wealth is wretched, wretched. So they, let's see. Mm. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna do this house. I want something with more wealth. Oh yeah, yeah, you see this? This don't look right at all. But this is what your citizens want though. So this kind of forces you to build your city in a way where you have to think of how to include all these different zones in your city um, before you design it so your city can look realistic. So, you know, what I like to do, I like to have my downtown in the center and that's where I'm going to put all my high density stuff. And then as I go out, I have my medium density and then my low residential. But that's kind of nearly impossible to do at first if you're, especially if you're playing without unlimited money because, like, you can't just design like that. It's more about um, making the best rational economic decisions so you can increase the amount of funds you have and etc. So we have a little bit of a traffic issue here, but but that's okay. That's okay. We just gonna ignore that. And the freeway tools are actually quite impressive. I like how you can just merge off roads in this game. Like it's it's really nice. And you can make them super close too. Like look at that. That's that's cool. That's so random, but that's cool. But yeah, that was the game, and thank you for watching. And that's all I had to show. I just wanted to show y'all some things that are different in Sea Skylines too.